YouTube, it's your boy Sean Matry here with the Salaman Great Combo video. Now there's a lot of different one, two, three car combos, a lot of different combos. So to make this less complicated where I can't modulate hands in Master Duel, we're doing this in Dueling Book. If you want to see the deck profile, my overview overview of my 11 game win streak to plat one, that's gonna be a separate video. Um, which I will link in the description below. Also, um, I do stream live daily, generally around 5 to 7 a.m. Eastern Standard. I do both Duel Links and Master Duel. I'll be streaming the KC Cup this weekend, so if you don't want to miss that, make sure you um, follow me on Twitch and go over there and check out my live streams. All right, KC Cup's going to be a bit of a different streaming schedule because I'm going to be all over the place. So you might be able to catch me daily at whatever time. So make sure you uh, go and follow over there for that. Anyway, um, I'm also going to timestamp in the description below uh, different combos. So that way you can skip to the combos. Just in case you miss something, you can go back to the start of the combo. Or if you want to jump to a different combo, you can be able to do that. So there's definitely timestamps here. Okay? Anyway, let us get started. I am going to type different things in the description over here. So that way you can understand a little bit with us. So it's kind of like my uh, notepad. All right. So number one. This is your basic combo. This is a one-card combo that either uses circle... Gazelle or money. All right, so this is your one card combo here. So what I'm going to do, so I'm going to just put this to the top. We're going to swap out for assign it mining. I mean a Salomon Great Circle. Going to banish our hand here. And this is where we start. All right. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to activate Circle. On activation, adds any Salamander Great Monster from our deck to our hand. We are going to choose to add Gazelle. Alright. Now, we're going to normal Gazelle. On summon, we get to send the Salamander Great Monster from our deck to the graveyard. With that, we are going to dump Spinny. While in the graveyard, Spinny can special summon itself if we control Salaman Grave. So we are going to do that. Then, once you control Gazelle and Spinny, you are going to overlay both of those into Salaman Grave Mirage Stalio. With Mirage Stalio on the field, you are going to detach to activate its effect to special summon a Salaman Grave out of the deck. You're going to need detached gazelle. Why gazelle? Because we plan to add this back later on to our hand. Whoopsie. That I did not mean to do. We are going to special summon out gazelle. I mean, not gazelle. We're going to special summon out Jack Jaguar. Then after we summon Jack Jaguar, we're going to link it off into our link one, our Salaman Great Phalanx. On summon, we get to add Sanctuary from our deck to our hand, so we are gonna go ahead and do that. Then we are gonna activate a copy of Salaman Great Sanctuary, and then we are going to be able to link off our Phalanx and our Mirage Stalio into a copy of Sunlight Wolf. Now, the cool thing about Salamangrate is that they can, while Sanctuary's on the field, link their link off into a copy, the same copy of themselves to gain additional advantage and effects. So if you have a Sunlight Wolf for the Sanctuary, you could summon another Sunlight Wolf without having to link off two specific monsters paying the cost for Link 2. You could just link off a Link 2 for Link 2. As long as it has the same name. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to send our Sunlight Wolf off or another wolf. Now Sanctuary is only 
once per turn for that effect. So don't try to activate it multiple times. Now we are going to go ahead and proc our Jack Jaguar. Jack Jaguar could special summon itself from the graveyard to his own a Salamangrate points to as long as we return one Salamangrate card from our graveyard into our deck. And that can be an extra deck monster going back to the extra deck. The typical way you want to do this is you want to generally summon Sunlight Wolf twice, then bounce back Sunlight mm -hmm. Wolf with Jack Jaguar to meet the cost to activate its effect because it makes it so you have a better grind game. Now, because we did that, we can now trigger Sunlight Wolf's effect. When a monster is summoned to his own at points two, you can add back a Salamand, I mean, that's a, a fire monster from your graveyard to your hand. It can be any fire monster. It could be an Ash Blossom that you used. So if you used an Ash, maybe to stop their max C that turn, you can go into Sunlight Wolf and add back that same Ash Blossom that you used. However, in most cases, you're going to find yourself adding back Gazelle. So we're going to add back Gazelle here. Now, because we started off with Circle, we can use its secondary effect of Sunlight Wolf, which allows us, when it's summoned using a monster with the same name as it, we can go ahead and target a Salamangrate Spell and Trap in our graveyard and add to our hand. So we can add back Circle. Okay. So this is where this one-card combo gets you. If you didn't open up Circle, you wouldn't add back here. You would just be with Gazelle in the end. So if you opened up like Mining, you wouldn't add back Circle. Uh, but because we opened up Circle, um, we can end on a field looking like this. And this is looking kind of nice. Okay. So we have Circle, Gazelle, Sunlight Wolf, and Jack Jack Warren. Now you may have additional cards in your hand depending on what you drew you're gonna have additional cards in your hand what am i saying you're gonna have four more cards in hand so we started off on one card so how much do we plus here off of opening circle we plused we have one card so we went plus four when we use salamander circle so very good and also Baylanx has an effect in the grave as well that when a Salamangrate card you control would be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can banish it instead. Uh, and that is a hard one to return. You can't banish multiple Balanxes in the same turn. Okay? So that is something you need to know. All right? So that is a one-card combo. Now, with this, let's say our opponent threatens our board. Right? They go, they start uh, trying to attack over Sunlight Wolf. We can banish if they try to affect Sunlight Wolf by an effect, a monster effect, we can flip up Circle because it's a quick play spell. And since it was summoned with a Link monster with the same name, we can make Sunlight Wolf unaffected by monster effects. So that can be very productive. Just different ways you can do things. Reset! Okay. Now, we're going to take this a step further. This is still a one-card combo. So this is combo number two. And this is a one-card combo using only using Lady Debug. So this will get you a little bit more advantage. Opening Debug, you're going to find, is really good in a case where you do not open any of your Salaman Great Spells and Traps. Debug is going to be really good. And most of the time with mining, you are going to search debug over going over the gazelle one card route. So you're going to search debug over going for the one card gazelle route. So in most cases, I say, but you know, that's generally the route you're going to go. Okay. So what we're going to do, well, mining is kind of a two card combo. So I, I shouldn't say that mining in itself is a one-card combo. You have to discard something else, but then it becomes kind of a one-card combo after that. But it technically, because you have to discard a card, it's technically a two-card combo with mining. 
So not really a one card one, but two card technically because you have to discard something, but it leads into a one card combo. All right. So I'm just going to stack these. We have two cards in hand. I'm going to go ahead and activate mining. Or if you opened up debug, then it's a one card combo. But if you open up mining, then it's technically two. So we're going to go ahead and search a copy of Lady Debug. Since it's a cybers. Now we're going to go ahead and normal summon debug. Trigger its effect, which will add Gazelle to the hand. Now notice how we didn't open up any Solomon Great Spells and Traps. Um, well, we might if we have a five card in, but I'm making it like we did. Okay, that just for this example. Now I'm going to link off Lady Debug and we're going to go ahead and summon Balanx. Trigger its effect to add Sanctuary. Now, in a case like this, we are going to go ahead and activate Sanctuary. And since we don't have anything else, we're going to go ahead and link off that Balanx using Sanctuary's effect into another Balanx. Since the Salamangrate was now sent from to the graveyard, the Salamangrate monster, we can go ahead and activate Gazelle and special summon it. Now Gazelle will proc, and we get to dump a Salamangrate card from our deck to the grave. We are going to dump Spinny. Activate Spinny, special summon. And then we are going to go ahead and overlay them into a Mirage Thalio. Trigger Thalio, detach Gazelle, special summon out a copy of Jack Jaguar. Then we are going to go ahead and link off the Jack Jaguar and the Baylanx to summon a copy of Sunlight Wolf. We can't double wolf here because we had to use double sanctuary on Baylanx. Now you're going to go ahead and put a Baylanx back in the extra deck to special summon your Jack Jaguar. Then we can trigger wolf to add back Gazelle. The first effect of wolf can be used when you summon Sunlight Wolf only once, not twice. So you don't have to use it with the same name to proc the effect to add something back to the hand. Only in a situation where you are going to add back a spell and trap do you have to do that. Now, in this case, what we could do is we can link these off into a Link 3 Apollosa. Now, while a 3 material, not a Link 3, a 3 material Apollosa. Now, while um, Mirage Thalia would normally normally lock us out of activating effects, uh, except for fires, Apollosa, to gain attack, does not activate. So, in a case like this, you now have a three material Apollosa on the field um, that can negate three monsters, which is very good against, like, Drytron or Virtual World. You have that option, okay, to go into. So... This deck can really make a good turn one Apollosa easy. And Lady Debug is a one card Apollosa. So that's something you need to understand at all portions. So very good. Okay, we're going to go into combo number three. We're going to start going into the two card combos now. Which is going to be Gazelle plus Spinny. Now, this could be also modulated by any card that would search either. And this can include Lady Debug, Mining, or Circle. So you can see this combo is awfully consistent because you have nine searches that get you to anything in the deck. So this is a very consistent combo because you're going to be seeing this a lot. All right, so in this case, and we already opened the combo, uh, <laughs> this is in itself Gazelle plus Spinny, even though it's a weird way of showing it, but I'm going to show you it anyway. So I think for the nature of the combo, though, I'm just going to show you Gazelle Spinny first. But in a case like this, you could summon Debug and then search a Gazelle and then Circle get Spinny, but I'm just going to show you this. 
as opening both, so that way you see where we're going with this. Alright, so in the case where we have gazelle spinning, we're going to normal gazelle. Activate the effect to be able to dump a copy of a trap. Now, instead of dumping spinny, we're going to dump a trap because we already have spinny in hand. So in a case like this, we might dump uh, Salamangri, Rage, because this becomes a pop too. You could dump Roar or Rage. Both of them have their advantages. Roar's advantage is that it's a um, negate for anything, spell trap or monster effect, and Rage can pop. We'll set up generally a pop two. You can set up a pop three if you end on Heat Leo, but... In most cases, you're going to set up a pot too because you're going to want to sit on Sunlight Wall for advantage. So, but there's one more thing I want to bring up. If you open up Circle to get to this combo, then you want to dump Roar because Roar's second effect will make it more advantageous for you. So, we're going to dump Rage here. And also, another note is that depending on how much back where you open, you might want to dump Roar to protect yourself against Duster and Lightning Storm. So we're going to dump Roar. We're going to proc Spinny, discard Spinny, and then we're going to special summon itself. Then we are going to overlay Mirage Dalio and our Spinny to make... I mean, overlay Gazelle and Spinny to make Mirage Dalio. Then we will detach our Gazelle, special summon Jack Jaguar. This is literally... The same route we went in the first combo. We're going to link that off into a copy of Phalanx. Trigger the effect to add Sanctuary. I'm just going to activate it in this case just to speed things up. And then we can tr then link these two off to summon out our copy of Sunlight Wolf. And we're going to do it again because we have a trap in the grave that we want to add back. Then we're going to trigger Jack Jaguar. Go ahead and special summon to return our Sunlight Wolf. Trigger our Wolf's effect to add back Gazelle. And then the second effect of Wolf to add back a Spell and Trap, which will be our Rage. And with two cards, we end on this. And we have plus one, two, three off of two cards. And we now have a Rage in hand that can pop two cards in the field since we have a Link monster that was summoned out with the same name. We have a Pot 2 of Wolf. Now, if you wanted to take it a step further and initiate a Pot 3, you can. You can link off your Jack Jaguar and your Sunlight Wolf to summon out a copy of Heat Leo, which is not in here because we were initially not playing Leo because I didn't want to die to... I didn't want to die to an FTK, so uh, banquet FTK, so that's why I didn't initially uh, play it. But you can go Heat Leo in a case like that if you wanted to, but still a good board to end on anyway. Okay, so I'm going to show you another uh, route with this. I'm going to turbo through this. If we open up like... Uh, Lady Debug plus Circle. Oh, and look at our luck. We already did. So we're going to top these. And then we are going to go ahead and show you exactly what this does. So we go Debug and we search a copy of Gazelle. Go Circle. And this is a little bit more advantageous. Remember, when I said you open Circle, you want to go Roar. I mean Rage. You want to go Rage when you open the circle. Get our Spinny. Now, in this case, the only differential is once we discard Spinny, since Spinny was sent to the graveyard, we can proc Gazelle. Oh, wait. Actually, that's incorrect. Excuse me. We have to do this first. All right. So, first, we have to link this off into Balanx. Then Balanx will trigger, and then we can add our Sanctuary, which is going to activate it. Because 
In order for spinning to activate, we need to have a Salamander Great card in the field to boost by 500 attack. So we're going to trigger Spinny, uh, target Phalanx. Then we can go ahead and special the Spinny and the Gazelle. So Gazelle will come out because the Salamander was sent to the grave. That being Spinny. And then we can trigger the Spinny and Grave to special summon. Gazelle will dump Roar here. And then we can go ahead, exceed off into Stalio. Detach the gazelle. Special summon it out. The boy. Jack. Jackie Chan. Link these off. Another thing, too, is because we opened up Debug, we can keep Mirage Stalio on the field. We don't need to link that off. And then trigger Jack Jaguar. Add back Gazelle. Whoop, I meant to do this first. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. What I meant to do first is we link this boy off into the second wolf. And then we trigger Jack Jaguar. Put back the wolf. Now we can trigger our Roar's effect too. Now, since it was Link summoned using a monster with the same name, you could set Roar directly from the graveyard. However, however, um, the downside is Roar gets banished when it's used when you use that effect. But it gives you a little bit more advantage. Then we can use uh, Wolf's effect since we summoned Jack Jaguar to its own. Add back a cell. Then Wolf's second effect to add back a spell and trap. We add back Circle. And then, off of two cards, we went plus one, two, three, four. So that allows us to go plus four of two cards. The only case where you would say, hey, I want to go for Rage there anyway, is in a case where you think that they're going to set 50 ton of back row and you want to pop all their back row. But if you think they're playing a back row deck, then... The option, too, might be to even link off and take it a step further and go into, like, instead of ending on Sunlight Wolf, well, you might decide, hey, I'm just going to end on Heat Leo and wipe out three back room. That depends on what you feel and what your hand structure looks like. But this is generally, overall, a very, very good board off of two cards. Keeping that, you also going to have three other cards in your hand, uh, depending on how, yeah, you're always going to have three other cards if you go first. But you're always opening up five cards. So that's something you want to keep in track. All right. So that is your three card. That is your gazelle spinning combos and your different routes to get to them. All right. We're going to go a step further now. I am going to start to show you what happens if you open up Foxy plus Spinny. And you can see this is exactly why we did this in Dueling Books. So many different combos. All right, so we're going to go ahead and stack these. Okay, so this becomes a little bit less optimal, but we can still make combos all for this. So we're going to normal summon Foxy. Now... The thing you need to know about Foxy is that you can only use one of its effects per turn. So in a case like this, where we have a limited field, um, we're going to go ahead and activate its effects. So we're going to be able to ex excavate three here. In a case, due to random RNG, we're going to add circle here. Now... Since we have Circle, we could technically extend this combo. Now we have a, a, a way to outright search Gazelle. But for the purpose of this combo, we're just going to go ahead and set this and pretend this is not here. Because I want to show you what happens when you don't open up like you really want to. So we're going to discard Spinny, activate, special summon itself to the field. And now we're going to overlay... These to make our copy of Mirage Thalio. Now, instead of summoning Jaguar here, what you're going to do 
is you're going to detach Foxy and go ahead and special Gazelle out of the deck. All right. Now, like I said, do not pay attention to the fact that we had Circle and we could search Gazelle. Do not pay attention to that. And then we are going to dump Jaguar. And then we can link these two off again. You see this 100 times over. Bring out the boy. We have no Salaman Great Spell or Trap in the grave. I mean, whoop, 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 whoop. I missed a step. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Give me, like, one second here. Okay. So, back here, we are going to link this off into our Balanx. Before we do that. And then get our Sanctuary. And then we go for the boy. Go ahead, special summon. Adding back the Mirage Thalio here and also taking this back to the hand. Okay, so even in a case like that, I'm going to make this totally relevant right now. Uh, if we don't excavate anything, we still go off of two cards. Uh, not as good, but we go plus two off of two cards. But still... We go plus two off of what would be considered a weak opener, okay, to get us to that point. All right, so that would be what we consider to be a weak opener for Salaman Great. Of course, if we got lucky and we did see the circle, there are further extensions that you can do. Like you could search Gazelle earlier and then be able to dump a spell and trap. And then have Circle live in the grave. So you can like dump a Roar at that point. And then set Circle and Roar. If you were to get lucky and excavate a Circle off of it. So yeah. That is definitely what you want to do. Alright. Now we're going to go into a little bit of different combos. We're going to talk about your Flame Buffalo setups. So this is going to be combo number 5. We're almost done. We're almost done. Okay, so now we're going to talk about what happens when you have Flame Buffalo. Flame Buffalo really comes into play when you open up Silent Mining. It's really good. Or you open it up with like a circle and another combo piece that you need. You can generate a ton of advantage. It is a little bit... Some of the hands that you do open it become a little bit RNG reliant. But... We're going to talk about it. Most of these combos are generally like three or two card. So you're going to bear with me here. We're just going to shuffle back Jack Jaguar and back in another copy of like a gazelle. The other card in your hand. Well, not gazelle. Let's, uh, let's put this to the top. Let's add just some random card. I don't know. Uh... Not this. Let's add uh, a droplet, just for instance. This is a random card. Okay. So now in this case, we're going to make it like this doesn't exist and that you have four cards in hand. Now, you may see this is a four card combo, but literally the fourth card could be anything. It doesn't have to be, it doesn't even have to be anything here. Okay. It could be literally Garbaggio. We don't care. All right. And it doesn't necessarily have to be, uh, a mining doesn't have to be in hand. If you open up, like, a Jack Jaguar in hand, then mining just replaces that entirely. So it doesn't, and then it becomes a three-card combo because then you don't need to discard off of mining. So this is either a three- or four-card combo. So we're going to go ahead and mining pitch here. We do not pitch Spinny. I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why it's advantageous that we don't pitch Spinny yet. All right, so mining in this case is actually going to search us Foxy. All right. Now we're going to normal summon Buffalo. 
And then we are going to link this off into Baylanx. Trigger Baylanx. Now, you have two optional effects here, which means you can decide the chain order. We are going to chain link one. If the computer lets me type. Bear with me a second. Buffalo. Chain link two. Baylanx. And the reason why we do this in this specific order, so that way we deck in the field spell so you don't draw it into Sanctuary. So we're going to add this to our hand first, since the chain's resolved backwards. And then we are going to pitch Foxy for the cost of Buffalo. And we're going to go ahead and draw two cards. Okay. We hard drew in the Jack Jaguar. So we're going to go ahead and activate Sanctuary. Then we're going to trigger Foxy in the graveyard, pitching the Jaguar. If you didn't draw Jack Jaguar, you pitch Spinny. That's why you don't really want to discard Spinny here, because you want to pitch it for the effect of Foxy. We're going to go ahead and special summon it, and then we can then activate our Spinny, discard, and then we can special it, and then we are going to overlay this into a copy of Mirage Thalio. Detaching the Foxy to special summon a copy of Gazelle. Gazelle Prox. We get to dump. Now, based on what we dumped here, we can go right into a trap card. Uh, that could be Roar, Rage. We'll go Rage in this case. Then we get to activate... Uh, and link off here. So we have options that we can do. Uh, we're going to go right into Sunlight Wolf with our Gazelle. Trigger the Jack Jaggy War. So Jackie Chan, as one may say. Then we can go ahead and add back Gazelle. Whoops. Do this first. Make sure you go in the second Sunlight Wolf before we trigger Jackie Chan. So we go second Wolf, then trigger Jackie Chan. And then with that effect, we put this back. Now where's Mirage? I gotta put that back in the graveyard. Oh, it's still in the grave? Oh, it's on the field. Never mind. It's still on the field. Never mind. Ignore that. So we do the same combo we've literally been doing. And yeah, that's how we... Uh, we also get back this trap as well. And that's how we end here. Uh, just like that. So we did use four cards. There's a lot of cards to use. This is why, uh, unfortunately, the draws of Buffalo weren't that great. Uh, this is why I've become not the biggest fan of Flame Buffalo. Because I feel like it does... Um, lose you some advantage in that regard. I thought about cutting it entirely, uh, but it is it is a way you can go, and it can get you deeper in your deck, so that's something that is advantageous with it, but I'm not really uh, a big fan on Buffalo because a lot of the times it, it nets you even on Vantage where other combos don't necessarily, but it, it, it can be good at certain points. We also have this... This card in hand as well. But that's generally how we're starting there. Okay. Now. The next thing I want to show off. Is your one more combo. And this is our OTK combos. Alright. This is how we OTK. And this is combo number six. Because I don't want this video going on forever. This is an OTK with Salamangrate. Alright, so you're going turn two. Um, the best way to OTK, you have two ways to OTK here. And this is Lady Debug is a one card OTK. And also, um, you need to know that Spinny, Gazelle, is also OTK. So any of those is OTK. Okay? So I'm going to show you all both. So if we're going second, we are going to get... B 
gonna show you all spinning gazelle first. Okay, so where is my gazelle? There it is. Okay, so normal gazelle. You are when you go for OTK. Since we already have spinning in, instead of dumping a trap, we're gonna dump Jack Jaguar. We are gonna discard Spinny, then send it to the grave. Special summon that Spinny. Then we are going to not make Mirage Thalia here. The reason why is because if we make Mirage, we can we are locked in the fires, hence we can't OTK. So we're gonna go ahead and link this off into a copy of Balanx. Balanx will go ahead and get our sanctuary. You do notice a little bit, a lot of this gets repetitive, but it's just something you're going to have to uh, take into exception a little bit. So then we're going to go ahead and link those two up into Sunlight Wolf. Activate Jack Jaguar. Add this back. And... Whoa, 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 whoa. Oops. Kind of made him... Made a big a bit of a boo boo there, okay. All right, um, so I had spell spinny, blah, blah, blah. we link that off. Okay, so this should be on field still. Okay, so we are back to this point here. Up, oh, this is actually in the graveyard. All right, so we're back here. Uh, what we do here is I made a little bit of goof. We when we OTK, we do not go into Sunlight Wolf. So we special summon this now. And then what we are going to do is we are going to go into Splash Mage. Make sure that this is summoned to the correct zone. Not summoning it to a zone Splash Mage points to. Then we are going to trigger Splash Mage and special summon back the Gazelle. Then we are going to go ahead and banish Banish, banish. Oop, not that. That goes to the grave. This gets banished. Because Spinny wasn't used as an exceed material. When it's linked off and it's not used as an exceed material, it's going to get banished. So that's something you need to know. And we're going to go into Update Jammer. Now we are going to go ahead and link these two off into a copy of Transco Talker. Activate Transco to revive back Update to a zone it points to. Once co-linked, we go ahead and, and bring it out the access code. And now access code copies transcode to become up to 5300 and gains the effect of update jammer to attack twice. So that is 10,600 damage, which is plenty enough to kill your opponent. And on top of that, update jammer, you want to order this. So update is link one. Access is linked to. The reason why is that way they can't not negate your update because they can't respond to access code. So update becomes safe from negate, so that way they can't stop you from OTKing them. So and you have four pops. One, two, three, four pops off of access code. So that's a four pop access code talker off of two cards. Okay, so that's a two-card OTK. Now, the last thing I'm going to show you is your Lady Debug one-card OTK. And this only takes one card. So if you see, well, two cards with mining, but if you see mining, debug, whatever, if you see any of that, that is an immediate OTK going turn two, so you need to know that. That is very strong. This deck, much like Medolce, can OTK you very, very easily. All right, so this is very dangerous. All right, so all these go to the top. We have debug by yourself. Normal. Search gazelle. Link into your phalanx. Activate. Search sanctuary. Sanctuary, link this off, go into another Balanx. Trigger Gazelle, activate Gazelle, dump Spinny. Spinny, 
Vinny, special. Link, Splash Mage, special. Update. Transcode. Special. Axis. And again, same thing. Double attack, axis code at 5300. That's off of one card. So, with them having six ways to get the debug. And a billion ways to end on Spinning Gazelle, you can guarantee that they're going to be able to OTK. Now, if you open up Extenders, yeah, then you can make Sunlight Wolf plays into this. But with those cards alone, know that you can OTK your opponent at any point in time. Okay? As far as playing through cards like Ash Blossom, you have multiple searchers. Okay? There is chances that you do open up, like, Extensions, multiple searchers. That can help you play through that as well. So this is that in a nutshell. Okay, that is my Salaman Great Combo video. You want to see a deck profile video. I'm making a deck profile on that. And I will also link you back to the combo video in that. Just in case you're watching that. You want to go on to learning the combo so you can get a good feel about how to play against the meta decks. I will go more into discussion there about counters against the metas and whatever not. In that regard, if you would like to see me play this live, potentially in a tournament, make sure you follow me on Twitch. I cannot stress this enough. Follow me on Twitch. The link will be in the description below. I generally stream daily, 5 to 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Except I'm doing the KC Cup this weekend for dueling, so that's going to be a little bit modulated. going to be all over the place there. Um, and also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe uh, to my channel. We are going for a thousand subs. Please do so. I've been a little bit um, uh, behind on making videos for like two weeks because I've had a lot of uh, family things come up and a lot of um, life things that I had to take care of. So I really had some urgent things come up. But... Uh, so, yeah, I'm back now, and I will be making videos uh, at least trying to twice a week. So that way you can get um, more up-to-date YouTube content. Until next time, it's your boy, Tilt Try signing out. Peace, guys.